Speaking of Mike Tyson, quick interlude, but uh, Jake Paul wants to fight Mike Tyson. And I hope not, Mike knocks his ass. I'm so tired of the Pauls. To be honest, I, 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 I hope he, I hope he does because I still, oh man, Iron Mike back in the day. I can't. I remember this interview with Frank Bruno. Do you remember Frank Bruno? No, I don't. Okay, he was a he was a darling of the he was a British boxer, and it, we mm. we every time we have every time we would have uh British boxers uh fight um Americans, we, we, it was we, it was like rule Britannia, yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 want to play some fisticuffs, <laughs> yeah, bare knuckle just, boxing, bare knuckles, <laughs> but it's just like fascinating fact. The only I think the only person to beat Muhammad Ali was a Brit, but. Um, bro, I remember this uh, interview with Frank Bruno. Um, because everyone was like, "Oh, Frank, he's gonna take on, uh, he's gonna beat Mike Tyson." This is Mike. This is like ninety seven, ninety eight. Mike Tyson. This is fucking prime Mike Tyson. Right. And Frank and they and they asked and obviously he got knocked down a couple of rounds. And they asked uh, Frank Bruno what it was like to be hit by Mike Tyson, and he was just like, "Imagine a baseball bat wrapped with barbed wire." And that was what it was like to be hit by Mike Tyson. So I, I would like, I would, I, I agree with you. I would like to see I and Mike put the pause in their place because they really do fucking annoy me. Mm. But um, he is also what fifty? He's fifty-seven. 57. He's eight. Yeah, he's up there. He's fifty-seven. 57. Uh, I, I just, I just watched videos of that today. I, I know, no, I, I have seen the same video. Oh no, his, his he's training, his training, for him. he looks crazy, dude. He's oh, yeah. he's calling Jake out, and he's like, he's like, day one, and he's like making up rhymes and shit. Day one, we're gonna have fun in the sun and shit like this. <laughs> he's like, by day four, day he one, ran out of things to his list. You know, yeah. 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 Day one, everyone, we're gonna have fun in the sun. <laughs> like what? Day two, I'm getting ready for you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't mean to offend Mike. <laughs> Not that you yeah, would care no, about me, yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Big, big fans. Yeah. Oh, big I fans. mean, we all do. We all we all know that this is the Paul's whole game plan. Right? Oh, this is how they make this money. It's their bread and money. butter. Doesn't matter if they win or lose. They just want to get okay, these big as a wh- title How do you guys fights, actually? Title fights. How do you guys actually? Because I've watched interviews with Joe Rogan, assess them as fighters and boxers, and they're like they're actually pretty good. Oh yeah! Unfortunately, they, like, from a technical standpoint, they actually—they actually, actually, pre- they're actually they, pretty. Good. They train with legit boxers in the industry, and they kind of know. I mean, Jake is more of a boxer than Logan. Yeah, obviously, Jake is definitely but, better than Logan. Um, no, they actually. I mean, there's a lot of skill and technique with those two. But brothers, he isn't. Is, but again, he still doesn't really fight anybody. Uh, the most recent guy he fought, people are like, "Oh yeah, he's got some skill because he." That guy was actually legit. I forgot what his name was. Was that was that the one who kept calling out his bird for having a for having a history? No, that was Logan, who fought that guy. We talked uh, about that. Oh uh, yeah, we Dylan did. Dylan Dennis, yeah, different Dylan guy. Dallas. Yeah, yeah. Jake fought this other like four like who just retired or former MMA champion or some stuff in boxing and like went pretty toe to toe with him. So we're like, oh yeah, his technique's pretty good and da da da. But like their business model is the same, right? Mm-hmm. Or at least Jake's. It's, like, it's it's choosing fighters that aren't of the same. Prime caliber, like right. you know what I mean. It's choosing and, fighters that are kind of like famous, but outside of their prime. Right, and also with the hope, they. I mean, they know that most people want to see them get knocked the fuck out, right? Yeah, like they know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. know. They know that. I mean, they. In all fairness, they know their brand and they're playing it well, and they know that we all despise them. <laughs> we want to <laughs> see, them. We wanna see yeah. their dumb faces get punched out. So they pick like these types of guys that would theoretically have the ability to do it, but like you're saying, Wilhelm Duke, just a little bit outside their prime. But they're like they're still like they're still that guy. Like it's oh, still yeah. Mike. They're still that guy. Right. Who wants still to fight Mike. Canelo? Canelo's still that guy. Yeah, exactly. You know. But it's but but they manufacture a way where it just doesn't happen. So the whole thing is pay to see if it's like buying insurance, right? It's like, hey, we think we think you're gonna die. And and you're like, well, I bet you I'm not gonna die. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then like, here's two hundred bucks. I bet I'm not dying this month. And then they're like, thank you. <laughs> and, then, and then eventually, eventually, we're all waiting for that payout where the where the guy dies and you give me like you make your twenty million from the insurance. Right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. Without yeah. any contingencies. That's what Jake. That's like Jake Paul's whole thing. 
he's like, oh, I bet you're going to pay to see it. I hopefully get knocked out. I bet you will. I bet you will. And like a bunch, well, I, I'm not going to because I'm not going to give him more money. But there's a lot of people who are going to be like, yeah, you're right. I want to see you. You're gonna, Mike's going to do it. He's the one who's going to do it. And then it won't fucking happen, and he's going to yeah. find the next fucking guy. And then it'll probably be, they'll go to all the rounds, and it'll be judge's decision, and Jake yes. will win. Or, right. You know, if it's well, technically so, okay, a little so bit better. Be, this is on pay-per-view. Yes, they've always and done people pay-per-view. People pay to watch this. Yeah. yeah that's how yeah, pay-per-view yeah. works. Yeah. You pay to view. Pay-per-view. <laughs> Well, I mean, obviously, I get the economic concept. God, are you, do you but, even know English? But, but, but the reality <laughs> that people would actually pay, and, it, and it's not professional. They're not fighting for a belt or anything. No. Right, they're not, it, like, this is why I put title in quotes. They're not title fights. These are, I mean, for all in, uh, intents and purposes, they're just exhibition matches for right. the clout. Right. Just exhibition. You know? exactly. Just promotional, fun, marketing. Exactly. So why don't they ever get in the ring with like real fighters? That's, they, well, and that's well, that's the whole point. That's another part of their game plan, though, though, is that they want to keep doing these like fights to try to string along the fan bases that really want to see Jake fight a real legitimate fighter that's his age, his weight class, and in the prime of his career. Career, yeah. You know, yeah. That's really what we're all hoping for. Then they, for. Then, yeah. then they would lose and get. The yeah, then out, they would get really messed up, and then that would ruin their whole thing. After that, right. they just they would they would never be able to do that again. Basically, mm. so it's like stringing the carrot, right? It's a, it's a, it's as old as time. The stringing of the carrot, uh, uh, tactic of leading people on, hoping that one day you're gonna get the carrot and see them fight they somebody legitimate. The fuck out, yeah. and they never will. Probably. So do, yeah. do you? So would you say Mike Tyson at 57 is legitimate? Dude, after the video, yeah, I just saw him. Yeah, he's I mean, still scary. He's, still he's scary. He's dude. very scary. It's still Mike Tyson, dude. Mm. Yeah, like. At 50, I mean, he's calling him out and stuff and doing these little videos. I'm going to see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, I, I hope I, you I do. Love... I hope what? you do, Mike. <laughs> what, was, what, was the, what was that That Simpsons character, Dredrick Tatum, where he fought Homer Simpson in the ring? Do you remember that oh, episode? Oh, yeah, yeah. Was they, <laughs> were they were spoofing off Rocky? Or no? No, 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 no. It was the Homer's whole thing was uh, just getting punched in the head continuously. Oh, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. the other guy got tired out and then he would just push him over. <laughs> and, but Dredrick Tatum was obviously the Mike Tyson of the Simpsons universe. Just like, like, it was so good that in the middle of the fight he was just starting talking to the president or something. He was like, yeah, for the, 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 the Mike Tyson. <laughs> you do that. I think we should adopt that policy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That sounds like a good Oh policy. my god, the Mr. Simpsons president. when it was good. Yeah. I would have Simpsons oh, grew up on Simpsons. Good. Yeah. Yeah, man, I did, Simpsons, I did. Man. Classic I did. stuff.